these multiple choice questions are from the point of view of board exams first main second main fill up the blank as well as multiple choice questions okay yes let us start if charge on one proton is then charge on helium nucleus helium nucleus has two protons two neutrons neutrons are neutral protons are positively charged therefore two times 1.6 10 to the power of minus 19 which is 3.2 10 to the power of minus 19 there is one more 3.2 but with negative sign protons are positively therefore this is the answer if the electric dipole electric potential at the center of the charged spherical conductor is v then the electric potential at the surface of the conductor is this is the charged conductor spherical conductor potential at the center potential at the center of the charged spherical conductor is v okay so here it is v everywhere it is v on the surface also potential is v potential remains constant whereas electric field electric field inside the shell is zero on the surface it is e potential remains same whereas electric field is zero inside the shell so here it is v consider the following statements kirchhoff's junction law junction law means kcl kirchhoff's current law follows from the conservation of charge true kirchhoff's loop law nothing but kirchhoff's voltage law follows from the conservation of energy which of the following is correct both a and b are wrong no a is correct b is wrong no a is wrong b is correct no both of them are correct equal currents are passing through two very long straight parallel wires in the same direction same direction there is attraction same direction there is attraction okay remember that attract each other repulsion if they are in opposite direction opposite direction repulsion lean towards each other neither attract nor repel so better option is first attract each other if a diamagnetic substance is brought near the north pole or south pole of a bar magnet it is diamagnetic means it is repelled by magnetic poles it is repelled by external magnetism repelled by north pole attracted no attraction attracted by no attracted by the poles no repelled by the repelled by both the poles since it is diamagnetic magnetic repelled paramagnetic recall paramagnetic attracted weakly let me write attracted but weakly if it is if it is ferromagnetic ferromagnetic attracted strongly attracted strongly okay so let us try to cover more number of questions through one or two questions which are available in the question papers the transformer is worked on the principle of mutual induction because transformer has two coils one influences the other therefore mutual induction if it is a single coil inductor inductor okay if it is inductor then self induction self induction is the principle for transformer mutual induction
the law which gives the direction of the induced current in the coil is direction of induced current in the coil is lens law so lens law gives direction students make a note of it direction faraday's law gives magnitude magnitude Ampere's law, Gauss law, they are different. They are nothing to do with electromagnetic induction. The alternating current in RCL circuit is maximum when current is maximum when XL equal to XC. So this is the condition of resonance. Resonance. Current is maximum when XL equal to XC. Current is maximum when phase angle equal to zero. Current is maximum when power factor power factor equal to one. Current is maximum if impedance is purely resistive. Resistive implies Z equal to R. Current is maximum if potential difference across the inductor is equal to potential difference across the capacitor. So there can be anything like this for maximum current. If Vxm represents wavelengths of visible X-ray microwave respectively, then so recall the electromagnetic spectrum visible ir microwaves radio waves and on the other side ultraviolet x-ray gamma okay now in this direction wavelength increases so longer wavelength side shorter wavelength side x-ray X-ray is the shortest. So lambda for X-ray is less than among microwave and visible. Next is visible. Lambda for visible. That is less than lambda for microwave. Lambda for M greater than V greater than X. Here is With respect to frequency, if it is frequency, then go in the other direction. So this, in this direction, frequency increases. In this direction, energy increases. In this direction, energy increases. Okay. A converging lens is used to form an image on the screen. When upper half of the lens is covered by the opaque screen. When lens is covered with half of it is covered, then intensity decreases. Nothing happens to the image. Intensity decreases. Okay. Half of the image will disappear. Never. Complete image will disappear. Intensity of the images will decrease. Intensity of image will increase. No. If it is a lens like this, principal axis, half of this is covered with opaque object. So we think that half of the image is cut off. Half is not cut off, only intensity decreases. <coughs> An electromagnetic radiation of frequency wavelength traveling with velocity in air enters a glass slab of refractive index mu. The frequency wavelength and velocity of light See, when light travels from rarer medium to denser or denser to rarer, frequency remains same. Frequency, let me write. Frequency remains same. When light is traveling from rarer to denser, frequency remains same. Velocity decreases. Velocity. Velocity decreases. Okay. So, frequency is n. n should remain same. Here is n and here is n, which remains same. Next, velocity should decrease. Observe velocity. 
both are velocity by refractive index true next v equal to f lambda v equal to f lambda if velocity decreases then wavelength decreases because frequency remains constant so wavelength decreases see it is 2 lambda 2 lambda means increase we should find decrease so this is how you have to pick understand the question go through the options then try to pick appropriately okay don't panic The kinetic energy of emitted electron from the metal is 3 eV. 3 eV is the kinetic energy. Work function is 2.5. Then the stopping potential. Kinetic energy 3 eV means stopping potential is 3 volt. Okay. Make sure that you retain the numerical part. Electron volt is replaced by volt. This is this is stopping potential. So it is 3 volt. Nothing to do with 2.5. This is work function. It is given just to mislead. The ratio of total energy to kinetic energy of electron in the ground state of hydrogen atom. Ratio of total energy to kinetic energy. Recall expression for potential energy is minus constant z square by r this constant is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught okay then kinetic energy is kinetic energy is half constant z square by r these equations appear in the derivation of total energy of electron potential energy minus kinetic energy half Look at the total energy when you add these two total energy equal to minus half constant z square by r. Observe the magnitude of kinetic energy is equal to magnitude of total energy. Magnitude of kinetic energy is equal to magnitude of total energy. But negative sign is there. Total energy is with positive one unit. Kinetic energy is with positive, total energy is with negative. This is with positive. So minus 1 is to 1. Just go through derivation of total energy. There you will find these equations. So by this, we can write magnitude of kinetic energy is equal to magnitude of total energy okay use this relation the number of neutrons in a this is atomic number z number of protons this is mass number a this minus this 235 minus 92 gives number of neutrons number of neutrons 5 3 where is 3 here is 3 hole is an antiparticle antiparticle of electron no vacancy created when an electron leaves the covalent bond Yes, absence of free electrons. No, an artificially created particle. No, absence of electron is equivalent to positive charge. But it is not free electron created when an electron leaves a covalent bond. Recall, we used to draw diagrams like this. Silicon, silicon. Okay. Something like this and silicon is tetravalent tetravalent means valency is four four electrons four electrons are covalently bonded when 
this electron comes out of the covalent bond there is a vacancy created so this vacancy is called hole so that is this statement now fill up the blank you have to pick appropriately from this don't be hurry okay take your own time analyze and then the magnetic field on the axis of current element is zero this is the straight conductor or conductor this is the current element if the point p is on the axis then it is zero biosavard's law biosavard's law in a transformer the core is made of soft iron insulated strips to reduce eddy current loss it is eddy current loss there are four power loss in transformers four reasons right so this is one of them eddy current the intensity of the emergent light from the pole ride is dash percentage of incident unpolarized if this is the pole ride this is the incident unpolarized light incident unpolarized light then emergent is plane polarized light so half the intensity is cut off 50 percent this is 50 percent the atoms having same number of neutrons isotones in intrinsic semiconductor holes and electrons are equal the leftover is equal 